Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today I am playing more Unloved. Now, there are four locations that you can choose from when you start a new game, and those are the apartments, the clinic, the basement, and the final one, which is the one we're visiting today, is the town. Now, some of you might be wondering why the game now lists me as having two deaths, and also my Q level and I think my karma are a little bit higher than they were at the end of the last video. This is because this is actually the second time I've sat down and tried to record this. Uh, the first time, um, I think the town is actually more difficult than the other locations because the first time I sat to record this, I ended up dying twice in a row and there were audio issues and I ended up not keeping the footage. Um, but now it's time to start a brand new game. Uh, players down to just me. Sliver of Mercy difficulty. Uh, go to the town location. Um, after this one, the next set of videos will probably be me using the twisted effect, which makes a single level out of parts from all four locations. Um, and then if my uh, if my character level has gone up well enough then I might bump the difficulty up and go through the set again um, if not I might just end up making the area size a little bit bigger so that there's more chances for getting trinkets and uh, getting things I need to upgrade my character and uh, as always classic horror difficulty <clears throat> uh, making the enemies a little bit uh, mon less enemies larger areas and monsters are stronger with uh less pickups all right classic horror small town just me okay good to go all right uh before recording i actually checked out my trinkets uh that one's rusted shut i checked out my trinkets and i realized i also have one that lets me start off with the machine gun and 20% of max ammo. I decided against using that just because I know the machine gun likes to really chew through your ammo supply. Mooncrest. Just checking these side rooms in case there is... there are any weapons lying around. Um, how about you? You're shut. And that's the locked one. All right, last time I played, the area was a lot more open, like more directions to go, and a lot of these doors were shut but openable, which I think is part of what led to my downfall, is uh, having, because of the um, the heat system, so the more, thing, more doors I opened and the more weapons and such I picked up, the uh, more enemies ended up spawning to come and mess with me. All right, so I got more pistol ammo, an ink bottle, a key, uh, and another ink bottle. Oop, now we've got people to deal with. And I say people loosely. It makes me very nervous that I, well, there's some behind the red door. have a nail gun yet. Uh, nothing in the bathroom. Alright, so there's two sets of spawns active right now, I believe. Uh, in, in the interest of playing it safe, I think I might end up you in here? I think I might backtrack a little to try and clear out some of these spawns that have shown up. Great, so the things that have spawned have done so behind locked doors.
Nothing on the shelf. I believe I just checked that way. Uh, I'm going to leave that ammo there for now. Uh, sweet Jesus. I'll, I'll take it with just because I might not be back up here. Good, so an another weapon. I'm, I'm very nervous right now. Because everything is spawning behind locked doors. Oh, it's a med kit. I thought it was a I thought it was a trinket case. I think here is where the enemies actually are. Wow, right in the face hole. Damn it. Anybody else? Pistol ammo, very good. SMP. I heard a sound and then there's nobody. Jesus Christ, this game. I also realized that I forgot to actually what the hell room was that? Oh, it was down here maybe? Yeah, I didn't actually check out this room too much. I just saw a giant body, no enemies. Oh. A slightly more accurate weapon at range. What do we got? Another card... Oh, not another card piece. It's a card piece. Because the last time I got a card piece was in an attempt that failed, and then the recording failed. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so we got the red key. Which is good news-ish. And the nail gun. So I can actually use some of the ammo that I uh, picked up. Could definitely use that. Pistol ammo is full. All right, is this a door? That's locked. And that is a med kit. Ooh, what was that? Oh, pistol ammo. So, the melee key is normally V. I actually switched it out to the space bar in the hopes of being able to actually use it because uh, the right click is actually your secondary fire for every weapon. That is also a locked door, or a rusted door. Of course, now I keep hitting the space bar thinking I can jump and instead... Uh, it just cuts at the air. I heard you somewhere. Sweet fucking Christ. Armor. Definitely useful. Uh, I didn't need to use all that considering I had only fired eight shots. Um, more ink, which I realized while looking at my trinkets that I can actually, um, ghost reload. 
So things have spawned somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, but... Uh, yes. While looking at the trinkets and such, I saw that I can actually... Um, ooh. SMP ammo. Ooh, and a shotgun, finally. Any photos or anything? Nope. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, right. I can actually break down, um, ink bottles into fragments that I can use to upgrade trinkets. So I'm very happy to still be finding, um, those ink bottles, even though, like, huh, I didn't realize anybody had dropped that. All right, that's a blue door. There's a red one there. Might as well check this red one while I'm here. No initial sightings. That's locked. That's another shotgun, uh, which I will pick up just because it will give me more ammo. shooter, dude. There he is. Alright, no, that's still the doctor. You're the shooter. Thank Christ. Oh, deep breaths. Gonna need that. So, that ghost reload trinket that I found earlier... Uh, I believe that means that occasionally, that's still unused, occasionally when I go to reload, it doesn't actually cost any ammo. Uh, and it looks like I've already got my... Ooh, more nail gun. Looks like I've already got my uh, fill of the challenge for killing cutters. Which I'm not actually sure what a cutter is. I'm pretty sure it's not the doctor guy. I just woke something up, something else up. I thought there was a door over here. She's down. Pistol ammo. Shotgun ammo. Ooh. Oh, more pistol ammo. Alright, so I... <laughs> Who is that? Nope, that door's locked. Alright, so now it's time to... Alright, backtrack time. I 
I heard you. Oh, turned too fast. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so now... I've made it to another door. Uh, sweet Jesus. Did I kill it? Uh, there is a explosion of blood, so I would assume it's dead. Um, but yeah, so it seems like currently the sweet spot for recording length is about 16 minutes per video for this game. And I'm just about at that time now. So I'm going to cut things here and start uh, getting ready for the next video. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.